too tall. I look like a midget, but too tall. Okay, out of focus, in focus, out of focus, in focus. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 155 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best gaming setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. If you see anything you like, I will have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But let's start off episode 155. This episode of Room Tour Project is sponsored by Corsair and the Elgato Stream Deck Mini. With six reprogrammable buttons that are LCD screens, you literally have unlimited macros right at your fingertips. For gamers, streamers, photo editors, video editors, anybody out there could probably take advantage of this and its unlimited use. If you're interested in the Elgato Stream Deck Mini and you want to find out more, I'll put a link for you in the description down below. First, we have Peter now, and this is just a classy looking setup. This is in a really nice looking room, and the way he has it all come together, it's just, you know, classy, elegant. I like it. So checking it out, he does have two displays. The primary one is a 34-inch Alienware ultrawide, and the one underneath is a secondary mini monitor. It is a 2K 10.1-inch electro display. Little portable ones like this that run over, you know, USB and stuff, uh, they're pretty cool. So on both sides of his monitor, you can see his speakers. Those are the Razer Noma Chroma. Then hanging underneath his desk on the right side by the PC is the Grados Labs SR80E headphones. Very, very nice. Now into the rest of his peripherals, that keyboard is the KBD-8X. Inside he has Gateron yellow switches with the Zilios housings and GMK Olivia keycap set. Again, really classy looking here. Definitely a nice looking keyboard. And he has that paired with the Razer Basilisk mouse on a cool looking library extended extra extra large mouse pad. But heading back down underneath the desk is his PC. It is the Corsair 500D SE RGB case. Inside is an Intel 8086K CPU with the Corsair H150i AIO. On the Asus Maximus X Hero motherboard with 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro RAM. And then NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti Founders Edition graphics card. And I like how he has the colors in here very muted, but it still fits exactly to the color theme of his setup, especially that Olivia keycap set. It's like identical to it. And then across the room is his entertainment setup with a 50 inch Samsung 4K QLED TV. And just check out this room. This is just gorgeous. Tons of room to relax. Got the setup then off to the side. Absolutely gorgeous. Really nice stuff from Peter here. It's very comfy looking. Like I said before, just elegant and classy, I think, are the, the two words for this. Pairs nicely with the wooden desk. No crazy RGB going on. Got a man of taste here. Next up is Frederick with his rather unorthodox gaming setup. You don't really see monitors like this too much, but that's 100% okay. There is always room for some bizarre setups on this show. Not saying it's bizarre, just not used to it. It's kind of like a face. So checking it out, his primary display on the bottom is a 34-inch LG Ultrawide, with the two up top being from Lenovo. They are 24 inches at 2560 by 1440p. Checking out the peripherals on the Razer Goliath, this Chroma extended mouse pad there for the extra RGB. He has his Logitech G Pro keyboard and Logitech G903 wireless mouse with the Z623 Logitech speaker setup, as you can see on each side. And he also has two options for his headset and headphones. We have the HyperX Cloud 2 and the Sony XB950BT headphones. Scooting on over to the PC, we have the Corsair Crystal 460X and inside is an Intel i7-8700K CPU with an older Corsair AIO. Got 32 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM on an MSI Z370M Gaming Pro AC motherboard with a Gigabyte GTX 1080 WinForce graphics card. Not only that, but he also has a Razer Blade 14-inch 2017 laptop off to the side. Maybe some mobile gaming, he could take this on the go with him, all that good stuff. And inside here is an i7-7700HQ CPU with 16 gigs of RAM and a GTX 1060 graphics card. And with the RGB light strips behind his monitors and that massive L-shaped desk, it's gonna help bring out some other colors and that really cool looking wall print, as well as those crazy RGB uh, fans in his PC. So an unorthodox monitor setup, as I said, but I'm still digging it. Now we've got Fabian with this lime green jumping out at you, triple monitor gaming setup. I love that span wallpaper he has here because it really just makes the setup feel like it's jumping out at you. For whatever reason, this reminds me of that one scene from Batman and Robin back in the 90s. Anyways, checking it out, his primary display is a 24-inch monitor from AOC. It's 144 hertz. 
Then on each side are two monitors from HP coming in at 21 inches. Moving on down to the peripherals, we have yet again another Razer Goliath that's extended chroma mouse pad here. You gotta have those RGB mouse pads now. And on that is the Corsair Gaming K70 Rapid Fire RGB keyboard with the Logitech MX Master 2S. A little over on the left side is his tablet, the Wacom Intuos Draw. It's the CTL 490. And then for his headset, chilling on the one side of his monitor, Razer Kraken V2 7.1. Then like clockwork, we check out the PC. We have the NZXT H700i case, and inside's an Intel i7-7700K CPU with the Corsair H100i V2 AIO. Got 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM on an MSI Z270 Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard with an Asus Strix GTX 1080 Ti graphics card. So I'm definitely getting those gamer vibes right away. Got all the RGB matching to that one kind of like lime green color. Shout out the 90s Bane. Even got a light strip extended up the wall and on the shelf where he's got some figures and stuff. I'm not too sure what that sign means though. Dirty PP Farmer. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just messing with you. It's still a good setup. Oh, man. Now, whoo! This one from I'm Eating Pizza AMA. There is a lot going on here. Obviously, as you can see, tons of stuff. I need to get mentally prepared for this. Lots of gear. So hot damn, for his primary display, it is a Samsung CHG90. It's one of those massive 49 inch ultra wide monitors with the overhead being a 38 inch ultra wide from Dell. And then on each side of that is a 49 inch 4K TCL smart TV. What? I don't know what that was, but a 49 inch ultra wide, a 49 inch 4K TV on each side. This has just got pixels for days. Now for the peripherals on the Reflex Lab extended mouse pad, he has the Corsair Gaming K70 RGB rapid fire keyboard and believe it or not, an unknown mouse. I don't know what it is. It's not listed. It's not like glowing. So I came and see the logo. It's a mystery. And then for audio underneath the monitors are his speakers, the Mackie MR8 reference monitors. Then it's two headphones of choice, the Bose QuietComfort 35 Series 2 wireless headphones with the Sennheiser HD 599 open back. And then back out to the wide shot, this is actually all powered by three different PCs. Well, two PCs and one laptop. Underneath the TV to the right is an Alienware 17 R4. Inside there is an i7-7820HK CPU with a GTX 1070 graphics card. Then on that bottom rack there is a CyberPower PC. It's a Gamer Extreme i7-8700K CPU with a GeForce 2080 Ti graphics card. And then next to that is another PC from iBuyPower with an i7-7820X and a GTX 1080 Ti. Holy damn. So there's just way too much to talk about here. I'm not going to go into anything else, but obviously with three different PCs powering everything, it's more than just a gaming setup. Lots of music production and stuff going on as well, as you could see by all that audio gear. And it seems so small in the grand scheme of things, checking this all out, but those little Tetris little lamps he has above his monitors, it's funny how it just blends so nicely with how colorful his wallpaper is. So this is a setup to power all setups. It's insane. So many pixels, so much gear. This is just monstrous. And then last but not least, bringing us back down to earth. I always like to kind of do opposites where you have a crazy extreme one, and then a nice, you know, chill, refreshing one. This one's from Samoa's going with a single monitor here, keeping it simple, a nice wood grain finish on the desktop, matching his speakers. Let's check it out. That monitor is an LG 34 CB88P. Digging that wallpaper, got rain meter going, making it nice and custom. And then for his gear and that extended mouse pad, his keyboard is a custom Poker 3 keyboard with clear switches inside and a Logitech MX Master mouse, keeping it wireless. And for audio, got the Cantu YU2 speakers. Like I said, in that wood grain finish, to kind of complement everything. And then chilling under his desk, you got the Thermaltake Core V1 Mini ITX case. Inside here is an Intel i3-4150 CPU on an MSI H8i Mini ITX motherboard. Got 8 gigs of Team Elite RAM with a Sapphire Radeon R9-280 Dual X GPU. So aesthetically, a 10 out of 10. Nice warm lamp off to the right side to kind of complement those warmer tones. Bring them all out and stuff. Highlight the wooden desk. Very, very chill. Got to give you guys options here. I'm sure those OP setups are very inspiring, but definitely people out there are going to appreciate these more simple ones. 
All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 155 of Room Tour Project. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget, check the links in the description down below for all the gear and hardware you saw. Have listed down there for you, as well as some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be possibly considered in a future episode of Room Tour Project. Just check the links down below for it all. If you liked the episode, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.